best traders have always understood it's about more ways to win, different ways of capturing alpha or edge. And for many years, we focused on technical analysis or quantitative analysis or the equation. And I think something radically different is happening in the industry recently. People have realized that data is a very important source of alpha. It's a differentiator. It's become a precious commodity. Uh, in fact, in the new world economics, I think data is a precious commodity and it really is very similar to oil. An oil company has to figure out where there is likely a reserve. They have to figure out a way to produce it, to pump it out of the ground, to refine it, how they're going to use it in a product, how they're going to deliver it, whether it's through a pipeline or tankers. The same is true for data in an organization nowadays. You've got to figure out what data you might have, how it might be useful. You have to figure out how to refine it, clean it, fix it, curate it transform it into something useful, and then how to deliver it to the people that need it in their business. And even if you've done this, you then have to make people aware that it's there, that it's changing, or how they might use it. Uh, for people who do it well, uh, it's an incredible edge. As I talk to chief data officers at bigger funds, they estimate that 60 to 70% of the cost of producing a fund is somehow tied to data. I think as algorithms get smarter and greedier for more data, the cost of data is going to become a much bigger part of a hedge fund. And it's not just the cost of acquiring traditional data like market prices, it's alternative data sources like satellite imagery or credit card declines. But there's another cost and it's producing your own data from your process or metadata from the trades or transactions, or even programming your AI to spit out almost a closed caption feed of when it becomes confident of something or needs more information or is requesting cash. In the very near future, I expect these systems to be able to go out and search for different sources of information uh, it's almost like the algorithm becomes an omnivore and instead of simply looking at market data or transactional data or even metadata, it starts to look for connections or feedback loops that are profitable in sources of data that the human would never have thought of. But that's really only part of the story. That's the process of thinking. But the interesting thing is if you're better at thinking, the raw material, the information that you're thinking about becomes even more important. And I think we're at that stage of the game. So it's time to think about not only how to use AI techniques smarter or better, but it's to recognize that in order to do that, we're going to have to use information sources smarter and better. Hope that helps. Thanks.